Well, good morning once again, everyone. Highlander 58. I am back on the trail for pre-hike number five. Um, it is uh, Wednesday, January 13th. It is about 22 degrees. I am on Highway 64, about 10 miles uh, from Franklin, North Carolina. I am at a, the uh, Winding Stair Gap Trailhead. As you recall, my last pre-hike, that's where I stopped. And I flip-flopped and went back toward uh, Wyatt Crest um, and Siler Bald. That was about a 12-mile hike. Uh, today, I'm probably going to do about uh, the same distance, and I'm going to head south again. My goal today is to try to reach Rock Gap Shelter. I'll see how I feel. Uh, I am battling a bit of a cold, and I'm going to do the best I can. I'm bundled up, as I usually am. I have three layers on. Um, today, I'm going to be hiking with my brand new Z-Pax Arc Hall backpack, which I received recently. I did a preview on that on a, another video. I'm going to be trying it out today. It is packed with literally everything I'm going to be taking on the AT in the spring. And today I'm carrying about two days worth of food and water. So it will be a little heavier uh, when I go to Georgia. I want to try to carry about five days worth of food and water. Not so much worried about the water, but I'll carry five days worth of food. Um, I'm going to try to uh, hike as fast as I can. It's uh, icy. Um, the elevations going south here are not quite as extreme, so I don't expect to have a real hard day. Thanks again for joining me, and let's go check out this pack. Well, I can tell you right now that uh, it's a lot colder than it was last week on my uh, number four pre-hike. Well, there's uh, a quite a number of switchbacks coming up out of the parking area at the trailhead, headed south on uh, the trail from uh, Winding Steer Gap. Um, you know, anytime there's a gap, you're gonna go up or you're gonna go down. I'm going up right now, it's not too bad. I actually met a solo, a southbound hiker, uh, down in the parking lot. She had just gotten dropped off from the shuttle that runs into Franklin, which is about 10 miles from here. And uh, I chatted with her a bit, and uh, her trail name was Dasha, I believe. And uh, uh, she said that uh, she had started in July, and she hoped to be finished within about a week. And um, <laughs> I was amazed uh, how full her pack looked. And so I asked her, I said, well, how much weight are you carrying right now? And she said, oh, about 37 pounds. And I said, what? She goes, yeah, it's a little heavy when I come out of town. And of course it lightens up as I eat and drink. And I, I felt a bit ashamed. I said, well, I'm carrying about 21 or 22 pounds right now. So uh, yeah, uh, I guess you get fit when you walk 2,000 miles, but she had no trekking poles and I let her pass me. She was just moving along, so good for her. I wished her well. And uh, off she went, and I don't even see her now, she's gone. <laughs> so, amazing. Okay, um, so, uh, as you can see, I've got the Z-Pax Arcol backpack on. And uh, right away I noticed that uh, it rides much more stable on my hips. Um, I do need to adjust the uh, contents a bit. I can tell it's still riding a little low on my back, more than I like. I like it up a little higher, and uh, I don't even feel anything in my shoulders. So, so far, I'm loving this pack. And uh, it, it feels like it distributes the weight much better than my other pack. And, um, It's kind of early yet to tell, but I think this was a real wise decision and uh, money well spent. Yeah. I'll let you know in a couple of hours. I've uh, run into more hikers than I have uh, any other trip out here. And just ran into three more. They were going northbound, three guys. Uh, they've been out here a while, I imagine, because they had the, uh, the trail beards going on. Uh, hard to tell, but the girl I talked to, 
she said that she'd already passed three or four northbound through hikers in January. Wow, that's bold. I won't be doing that. The sun is peeking up over the ridge line now and I'm getting warmer, which I expected I would. And I'm sure I'll be shedding a layer very soon, which I expected I would. And in spite of my cold, I'm, I'm doing all right. And uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, the rest of the day, uh, if I could just get my nose to stop running, I'd be happy. You know, this particular uh, section I'm hiking right now doesn't have the elevations that uh, I had the other day uh, going to Saddle Bald into a downside of a uh, winding stair gap. But uh, quite a few switchbacks, and I'm thankful for those. Uh, they're your friend. So, sun is really warming me up. Being from Florida, I thought I'd get tired of the sun, but right now, it's my best friend. <laughs> um, not as much ice up here either as uh, I thought there'd be. It's actually uh, more down below. Up here, it's uh, quite clear. It's supposed to be sunshine all day, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to my destination. My backpack is uh, feeling wonderful right now. Um, it's a uh, remarkable difference, to say the least. Well, 20 minutes after that last clip, as you can see, the uh, rain jacket is gone. Stowed it away, took a little drink of water, readjusted the uh, Arcall pack, off my gloves and right now the pack is perfect <laughs> right where I want it at the very small of my back not on my butt cheeks and uh, it, it, I'm not gonna say I don't feel it I'm gonna say that I only feel it a little bit it, so far I'm a happy hiker You know, the heaviest thing in my pack is my sleeping bag. And it's like three pounds. And, you know, I could spend another 500 bucks and get a, another one, but it's a good bag. It's a Kelty Ignite 20 degree dry down. So I'm just gonna stick with it and deal with the pain. The extra, extra pounds. doing well. Um, I'm moving along real fast, faster than uh, I should be allowed to by law. So I just checked the temperature on my trusty Casio ProTrek watch. Uh, and it's 34 degrees uh, according to that watch. It's pretty accurate actually. Um, haven't talked much about that watch. I, I'll talk about it more in my gear review. Uh, it was a gift from some friends of mine at work when I, I left. And uh, I like it a lot, it has a lot of functions, and uh, I recommend it if you can find it. They keep changing the model number every year. It's not too expensive, it's solar powered, which is fantastic, no batteries. So, uh, I anticipate the uh, temperature going up even more as the day goes on, which is fine with me. I think the only time I'm really gonna be freezing is uh, when I wake up in the morning and when I'm not hiking. So I guess I need to hike more. Hey folks, I just hit um, 4,000 feet above sea level and uh, I have a magnificent view of the mountains around me. Uh, the temperature is still around 33, 34 degrees, but the sun is shining, there's no wind. Uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous day, um, you know, what can I say? <laughs> um, 
the hikes are getting easier and this is probably going to be the easiest hike i'll let you know at the end but uh, I, I i chose this route specifically because i knew there'd be a somewhat lower elevations and i knew i'd be stopping a lot to adjust my pack um, shift my weight and feel i want i'm taking the time to pay attention specifically to how my back feels how my legs feel and how my feet feel uh, carrying this this new pack uh, so far so good um, it feels so much lighter I, I I can't describe the difference it's it's amazing it was man but uh I feel on top of the world I'm really fortunate to uh, be up here at this time of year um, you know there's no leaves on the trees so the uh, the distances that you can see are amazing and I know that won't be the case in the springtime but uh I've noticed a lot of trees, um, a lot of big, old trees that have uh, fallen down. And uh, it's, it makes me feel a bit somber, and a little sad even, that uh, you know, these trees were probably you know, a couple hundred years old. Okay, I've just arrived at uh, Wallace Gap. The elevation is uh, 3,950 feet. I'm really starting to appreciate trees more than I ever have. You know, some of these trees have actually become works of art. They're natural sculptures, the way the wood bends and the way the, uh, the grain goes, the branches twist. Um, it's very inspiring to me as someone who loves art, likes to paint, likes to sculpt. Uh, of course, that's another part of my life that uh, perhaps one day I'll share with you. Right now, gotta focus on getting ready for the, the big hike. Well, I just, uh, I just crossed the highway back there. I, I believe it might be Highway 64. Uh, there was a sign that said, uh, Standing Indian Campground. So, trail picks up again right behind that sign and um, goes back down into a nice little valley here. I'll tell you that um, that lady hiker that I met earlier on the hike today, uh, she's gone. <laughs> she is, she's out of here. I haven't seen her since she passed me. Uh, I was adjusting my pack and she, my goodness. If, yeah, you know, if I can move that fast in a few months, uh, I'm excited, you know, because she, she was real fit. She was lean and you can tell she'd been out on the trail for a while, but uh, you know, what an inspiration to me to keep training, to keep preparing keep walking. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Going back up. Just came down. Going back up. Remember that. Well, I made it to uh, Rock Gap and uh, the sign there in the photo uh, shows I had gone 3.7 miles in under two hours. So I'm feeling good about that, really. It's about two miles per hour. And uh, it'll be a little slower going back, I'm sure, but there's a shelter right up here. Well, I decided to uh, take a side trail down to uh, Rock Gap Shelter, and I ran into a bunch of uh, trail volunteers down there. They were very busy uh, doing maintenance on the, uh, the shelter, the privy, some of the signs, and uh, I, uh, was told about a, uh, a registry that uh, the uh, ATC has online and you can go on and voluntarily register uh, the date of your hike and you can tell how many people are starting that day and it's strictly voluntary and there's no limit uh, as to how many people can start the trail that day. So I'm gonna look at it 
and I'm gonna see uh, what's the best day for me to start. He said those uh, shelters, well, you only had a capacity of about 40 hikers a day. And uh, I don't plan to use a shelter unless I absolutely have to. I just uh, stopped for a moment to uh, do a small adjustment on the uh, hip belt, took a drink, and I was actually able to reach my water bottle in my pack. As you recall, in my previous videos, I could never reach my water bottle in my Deuter pack. I had to take the pack off to get to my water. How nice that I can get to it now. Okay, folks, uh, I just uh, passed Blast Mine Gap. It's at about 4,200 feet. And uh, got about uh, a mile to go to get to uh, uh, Long Branch Shelter. That's my goal today. I decided to push it a little further. And uh, I'm making really good time. And I feel okay. I am a little cold. It's still uh, like... Uh, you know 27 degrees in the shade here so quite cool I've been into the hike about a little over three hours about three hours and 15 minutes and I'm making really good time and I hope to be able to spend a little time at the Long Gap shelter take a long break and head back down but uh, another marvelous day on the Appalachian Trail. Okay, everyone, I have uh, officially reached the uh, Long Branch Shelter. It's at about 4,300 feet. Beautiful shelter. Beautiful shelter. Nice fire pit. Of course, you got the, a nice privy back there. Well, this is a uh, two-story shelter, very well maintained. Nice table, nice little prep area. So I'm taking a little break here at the shelter. It took me about four hours to get here. And I stopped, I don't know how many times along the way to talk to uh, uh, trail volunteers. There's probably at least a dozen trail volunteers between this shelter and the one at Rock Gap. And I stopped in and uh, made a point to thank each and every one of them for the service they do out here for the trail. The trails were clear today, they were clean. They were out trimming trees, trimming, uh, trimming uh, bushes, picking up uh, deadwood. There, there wasn't any trash on the trail from here all the way back to where I began in the winding stair gap. It was uh, amazing. And these folks uh, are tireless. Looks like it's a, a, a worthwhile uh, opportunity to volunteer to do something good to keep this trail uh, clean and alive for generations to come. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to readjust everything. Uh, the hike up here, the pack worked fantastically it's uh i have no problems with it it's very very comfortable it's five pounds lighter well folks i had about a 15 minute break i had uh, some snacks some protein a little sugar and uh, a lot of water and uh it's getting cold i checked the temperature up here uh, just now at the shelter it's 26 degrees so i'm going to get moving so i can get warm and i will check back in somewhere down the trail this is a great shelter. I, I'm really, really impressed with the, what these volunteers do. The shelter, it looks virtually brand new and it was built in 2012. So thank you all. Thank you volunteers.